All right, guys, welcome to our uh, team call tonight. Um, I seriously look forward to Thursday night. Like, my absolute favorite night to, to get to, to know everyone more, to hear this training. Um, you know, we say all the time, Brittany can give you all this information and this valuable information because she is amazing and a rock star. But if you don't take and apply what she's going to tell you tonight, it's pointless to even be sitting here on this call. So make sure that you're listening in, make sure you're taking notes, make sure you're applying what she's teaching us in, um, into your daily life and into your business. So before I introduce her though, um, I did want to let you guys remind a reminder, a couple of things, the orange recovery drink just came out this week. So you can get um, recovery in orange flavor now. Uh, which I'm super excited. Apparently, it's supposed to be similar to the P90X recovery, which I'm addicted to. So um, I'm hoping it really is. But don't um, forget that that is an option. Um, this there's less sugar in that one, too, the new one. Yes, much less sugar. The other one has quite a bit of sugar in it. So, <laughs> yes. Um, and then the 16th, the three-day refresh is going to be going on sale. I don't believe it's going on sale in a challenge pack, but just the actual kit itself. Um, last time it was on sale, I know it was $5 off um, if you got it without Shakeology and $10 off if you got it with the three days of Shakeology. So my suggestion to you is to start posting if you've done it, the results. If you haven't done it, I'd say commit today to purchase it on the 16th. Um, so you can get the results. So you can show people what the three-day refresh is all about. And I'll tell you, I did not think I could do it. I am someone who, everyone knows me, I'll never have a six-pack because I love my M&Ms too much. Like, that's the truth. And if I could get through, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And my husband's done it with me. Um, and, you know, I've both times I've done it, I've lost like six pounds in between. I've been able to get off that plateau that I've hit and stuff like that. So I'd highly, highly, highly recommend you say, I'm going to commit and do this. We are going to be doing a tribe-wide three-day refresh for you as a coach and anyone who purchases it from you. So we'll put everyone in a group. We'll start a couple days before um, with a couple days of preseason to make sure they're grocery shopped and everything for the three-day refresh. But because Memorial Day is on the 30th, we decided to go on the 31st, which is a Tuesday. And so that'll kick you right into a new month. So I'd highly recommend getting it and I'd highly recommend start talking about it, posting your results or saying you're going to do it. If you have never done it, I would highly recommend start talking that up and do it. Um, but with that said, um, we want to take a minute. Oh, last thing, don't forget to check coach breaking news. For those of you who don't know, um, Iron Man and Beachbody just signed a, um, a uh, agreement where they are going to be like a sponsor for the new for the performance line. So there are certain things you need to read up on about what you can and cannot say because it is a partnership. Um, don't go make like their logos and everything like that. You know, on shirts saying that we're affiliated, you can't just copy the Iron Man logo and stuff like that. And um, but it's super cool. Like these are the top notch athletes in the world. Um, they don't get better, much better than that. So, um, check the FAQ, um, check the coach breaking news for that information, but we're going to introduce Brittany. Brittany, um, is from Idaho and she has four little boys, a house full of boys. I don't know how she does it every single day. This girl is a rock star in my eyes. Um, she stays up late, gets up early. She defines consistency. There's a reason why she is a diamond and will not be diamond very long because she will be star. I mean, this girl's going places. She has the it. She has the DNA in her. Um, she is just phenomenal. I can't even say enough about her. You guys have, I'm sure, followed Brittany. Her Facebook posts are the best. I just stalk her all the time. She probably doesn't even know that. But, um, yes. So I'm just going to turn it over to her and let her teach us tonight. Go ahead, Brittany. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> let me just make sure that when I share... You guys are seeing what I want you to see. Okay. So tell me when you see my title, I guess.
Anything? Does it say loading at all? Yes. Now you see it. Okay. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about transformations. And then I have a second part that I wanted to add that I just wanted to add. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So just basics. Take pictures. If you're a baby coach, take pictures now. If you haven't taken before pictures, take them now and make today your before day. Because whether you have this great transformation <clears throat> or you're, you already feel like you're in the best shape and you started coaching, it's still pictures are going to be important. So take them, your front, your side, whatever. Um, I keep a separate folder in on my desktop for transformations, whether they're mine or they are clients or coaches transformations, uh, just to keep it in one spot. And because initially I didn't do that. And then I went searching for my transformation pictures. So just stay organized from the beginning and put all your pictures in one spot <clears throat> on those pictures, label them just basically, I don't, you can put all this on there as I'm suggesting, but at least put, um, the program and then what day or what's the date range. So here are my 30 day pictures from Pio. <clears throat> I have, uh, and I have my day one in 60 days also. So just labeling it will help you in the future as you're sharing your transformation for particular programs. Okay. And this is just something I was, uh, recommended someone recommended to me is to either put, I saw someone do this. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It looks like a tattoo, but I put my Instagram name on my arm here with the, some text. That's one thing you can do a watermark because you probably know this and you've seen it. If you use a like people's transformation photos can be taken. Anyone could use your photos. They're public on Facebook. They could take them and make them their own for some other company. I know it's happened to some coaches before, but anyways, um, so make sure you put your information on there, uh, in such a way that I guess they could, if they really wanted to kind of take it off, whatever, just, just plus if people come across this, like if you pin this or something, if they come across this, they'll know where to go to find your, you know, more about you and be able to follow you and stuff. So that's another thing. Okay. Transformations. Uh, you know, just like these ones on the left here, like your physical transformations are great to post about. And those obviously are going to help you in your business because that's what this business is about, helping people with their health and fitness goals and seeing transformations. But another kind of transformation that you should be sharing about is non-scale transformations or non-scale victories um, because it's not always about weight loss. And if you're getting to specifics about um, – muscle mass and stuff you know you could technically uh not be losing weight but still gaining muscle and stuff but here's one that i posted about and got a lot of traction with because it's the same outfit but i am a seamstress and so i took in this shirt and i actually sewed it or took in this skirt because i hate buying new clothes especially if they're new and then they don't start to not fit then i just sew them and fix them. And so I talked about how I fixed this because I lost inches, whatever. And so I think sharing that is crucial as well. So also talk about, um, like your, how your clothes fit, but your energy level, how you feel overall, um, the first, whatever, however many days or, you know, as you're drinking Shakeology and stuff and doing your workouts, talk about your cravings, how they're lessened or whatever. Um, so there's other things besides weight that you could talk about with transformations. Okay. So we know transformations happen by doing the programs. And this is where I'm kind of going to get into a little bit about what Danielle and the Tony spoke about in the national wake up call. I want to say it was in October of last year, or December, but, um, the whole, okay. So the programs that were given are systems. Just like in coaching, there are systems. You follow it and you get results, right? So the programs are designed for you to follow. And it's not something that 
Well, it's hard to say when you're training like you runners, you know, I already, I run too. And I know that you run so many days a week and you can cross train other days. I'm not talking about that. When you have a race you're, you're preparing for, I'm talking about just the average Joe every day working out that each, these programs are systems. They're designed to be effective if you follow them. And so your goal as a coach is to complete programs, to not bounce around. So, um, the only difference with that is if you go to Beachbody On Demand, and maybe some of you have done the Challenge Du Jour, that's a specific system that's designed just like a program is designed for you to follow day by day. What I'm talking about is you maybe getting on On Demand or just whatever you feel like in the morning, grabbing one of your programs and throwing one in, just whatever you feel like. That's not... That's not um, how these programs are designed. They're designed for you to start and finish them uh, in the whole complete program. So if you haven't yet completed a program, do it. Start from day one. If you've been bouncing around, choose one and start from day one because that's also where you're going to be able to effectively share about your transformation and your journey. And make sure that you're posting each day about your workout. Don't just say, hey, I'm doing, I'm on week six of Pio. Awesome. Okay. Talk about how you feel on that day and be, be honest and real with everybody. So if you wake up and you're not feeling like you want to work out, but you did it anyway, talk about that. Or if you really crushed your workout and you had the energy, talk about that. Um, also with the performance line, um, go talk to dad, please. Go talk to them. I'm on a call. People are watching me. Don't. Oh. Um, what was I talking about? Performance line. So if you're drinking Energize and before your workouts, talk about that. Make sure you're sharing, not just Shakeology, but if you're using other products, share about that as well. So you should be posting on social media, but also sharing with your teams about your journey. Uh, I know this is something I need to work on better, but share with your teams about the programs you're going through and even tell them how you're feeling about working out and um, whatever. And this also is cool because on the app, when you log in your workout, you can share with your clients how you're feeling. You know, it all is intertwined. So make sure you're talking about your journey and sharing it publicly. Okay, uh, here's a good one. Um, okay, real quick, let me just go through these. So I started with Pio. And I went to 21 Day Fix Extreme. I feel like I've done a lot of programs. Insanity, P90X3, Hammer and Chisel. I've since, what did I do after Hammer and Chisel? I think I went straight to Pile. I can't remember. But anyway, um, if you, if there's a program that either just is recently launched or is in the library of programs available that you feel like, I don't know, if, I don't know how I feel about doing that one. Uh, size is a great example because it's a kind of a, a niche program specific niche but at the same time um, I challenge you to go out of your comfort zone with programs and choose one that you otherwise normally wouldn't do and then share about that publicly because not only will it help your business because you might have clients who are interested in that program and you having experience having done the program will help you help them but also it shows people that you know you're not I don't know it just shows people that you are open to new things I guess kind of idea so size is one with uh, country heat coming out you know maybe that's out of your comfort zone I challenge you to find one that's out of your comfort zone and do it okay I have my note cards here um, so I want you to relate transformations or systems, I should say. Each program is a system specifically designed that if you follow it, you'll get results. And that's where Shakeology comes in as well. If you follow the fitness program, drink your Shakeology, you're going to get results. Um, same is with your coaching business and Coach Basics, for example. It's a system. And all of the trainings in the Coach Online office are a system that if you follow them, and this is like hint, hint for anyone who hasn't done Coach Basics, um, that if you follow those, the, those trainings, they are a system designed to create results. So if you follow them, you'll get results. So if you feel like your business isn't 
moving forward right now, I want you to think if you've completed Coach Basics or the Push to Emerald or whatever it is in those, on those trainings in the online office or the, through your upline, that I challenge you to go through and do those trainings because you could have a transformation in your business too. Okay. All right. The last thing about transformations here, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, is that let's say you come into the business and you feel like you're in good shape already. And this is where coaching is amazing because you can come in not in your best shape and still have success in this business. You can come in feeling like you're in the best shape of your life already, but still have a success, a success in this business because you maybe don't have a hundred pounds to lose, but maybe you have a hundred pounds of emotional stress or financial stress that you want to lose. So think of transformations, not just with your physical self, but with finances, emotions, uh, mental fitness, whatever. And you talk about how personal development has changed your life. Um, just think outside of the physical transformation and make sure that you're always sharing your journey. Okay. The second half of this is something I got from Brene Brown and Stephanie, you'll recognize this, <laughs> but, um, I just posted about this actually on my, uh, like page the other or yesterday or whatever. And she had something called a vowel check. And what I've done is taken it and tweaked it a little bit for coaching. Um, okay. So this is something that you can do each day. You're going to go through the vowels and each vowel stands for something. So here's your vowel check. Let me move. Uh, a, have I been approachable today? And I'll go through each of these here in just a minute, but, uh, E, have I exercised today? I, what have I done for myself today? And you can probably see how these correlate to coaching. Oh, what have I done for others today? You, this one I created because it, her you wasn't for us, but am I student of the university of learning and why? Yeah. She says, yeah, on the audible, but anyways, be excited. Yes. What is something good that's happened in my business today? Okay. Oops. Okay, have I been approachable today? So with this A, I've chosen this question because I want you to think of your social media posts. I want you to think of your messages to individuals and think, is your uh, attitude or your demeanor showing in your posting and in your messaging? So if you're having a rough day and not doing personal development and not building yourself uh, is that going to reflect in your posting and in your messaging? And are people going to be able to feel comfortable approaching you? So it's kind of a self-evaluation that each day you want to be approachable in the fact that you want to make sure that you're being a positive person and make sure that you're being real too because not everyone's perfect and perfectly positive and have perfect days. You know, talk about the hardships too, but also talk about how you're learning from them and how you've overcome them or whatever. But just be approachable. Okay, this one's easy, and this goes back to transformations too. Have you exercised today? Because we all know the importance of exercise in general, but also in this business to make sure that you're sharing about it and doing your workouts. And okay. even, if you don't, even if you don't do your workouts, um, I can't say that I, I'm trying to think of days I haven't done it. It's been a while. Um, but let's say you didn't do your workout for some reason. I still say share about that because people, okay, some of you, I've said this to before. Um, this is kind of a tangent, but still. Um, I was posting, posting, trying to be positive and never really talking about um, negative or, um, I don't know. And one person commented, and she's like, oh, now I know you're just a person. And it kind of took me back. Ashley, will you mute everyone? Can you do that? Sorry, guys. Oh, I got it. Okay. So, now, I okay, so this person commented, um, now I know you're just per the perfect person or something about being perfect. And I was like, 
uh, I felt deflated because I didn't want to come off as being perfect because I know I'm not perfect. And so if you miss a workout, I say share about it and make sure people know you're real and that you miss a workout. You're not perfect. Okay. I, what have I done for myself today? Well, that goes back to personal development and I'm just like a witness that if you don't do personal development, not only are you like your business is not going to succeed, but um, your relationships as well. And I know that even before coaching, I wasn't doing personal development every day because it just wasn't, I guess, on a priority to me. But now that it is, I can really sense a difference when I'm not doing it, not only in my business, but in my relationships as well. So make sure that you're doing something for yourself and not just personal development, but even taking time for you, um, taking time for me personally, <laughs> doing something for me is like having quiet time. Like me, just me. <laughs> I don't have to, like I can do my personal development and then, but another thing that I need for myself is just me time. And so make sure that you're just doing some, something for yourself each day, whatever that is. Oh, what have I done for others today? Um, specifically in coaching, make sure that you're adding value to other people, whether it's through your posting, which you should always be doing, adding value through your posts, but also in messaging. So let's say, again, this is about building relationships. So don't always send out messages with the um, thought that you want to hopefully sell a challenge pack to this person, but just send a heartfelt message that, Hey, I loved your dress that you posted about on Sunday, or, uh, I just did one today. I'm trying to think now, but, um, family pictures. I saw your family pictures. Your kids are so cute. Just something random that's going to brighten someone's day. And so social media would do it that way. But even face to face, just with your neighbors or people at the grocery store, just think of how you can serve others. Because as you start to look outward, um, not. it's funny because as you start to look outward and focus more on other people, you notice that your own life is not that bad. <laughs> so it just goes back to serving people and um, adding value. Okay, this one I really feel strongly about. I have, I've been a student of learning in the coaching, coaching university, and this is where I want to get specific to coaching as in these calls. So I'm preaching to the choir here because you're on this call, but if you have create, or like you have teams right now, um, and even if you don't have teams, but for the future, really emphasize these calls train because they're training. They're the university um, of coaching where you're getting continual learning. So I feel like I've noticed with my own team that those who show up and listen to these calls are the ones that have success because they're here to learn and apply the, these things because this business is, there's endless knowledge basically of things you can do and tweak and whatever. But if you feel like this is something you're committed to long-term and want to make this work, then you need to be on these calls and make sure that you're showing up to your own upline, um, your sponsors calls, um, just not just for learning, but just for, um, connecting and making sure you're up date on, um, I don't know, uh, like coach breaking news, basically what Ashley was talking about. If you're not checking that breaking news every day, then you're going to hear about it here. Um, so just little things in the business because the business is evolving and you're not going to stay caught up on things if you're not on these calls. So be on these calls. Good job for being here. Okay. And if you've been in the champions page, and it's been a few weeks, maybe a few months, but they talked about winning the day. One time they had a thing going on. So that's where this stems from. What is something good that's happened in my business today? Because sometimes you'll get to the end of the day and you'll think, wow, what did I accomplish? Or I feel like I didn't get anything done. Not, not, okay. Not get anything done because let's say you're doing business building activities, but you feel like I didn't sell a challenge path. Um, I didn't sell anything and you feel like I, what, what good has come of me talking to 25 people and just building relationships? Well, let me get out of here. 
Um, I want you, it's just like in life, if you focus on the positive and think of things you're grateful for, then first of all, your mindset and attitude change. Um, but if you're, if you're doing that in the business, then you will be more likely each day to notice the positive things and not focus on the fact that you didn't sell a challenge pack, but focus on the fact that you talked to 25 people and that's 25 seeds that are planted. And so here are some other ideas for winning the day. And can you see this document that I just clicked on word document? Anyone? Bueller? No. Okay, good. I don't want you to see it. <laughs> Okay, so, um, okay, you drank your Shakeology and did your workout. Good job. You won the day. Uh, that was good for your business. Did you add anyone to your contact list? Did you invite anyone? Did you follow up with anyone? Those are things that are good things that can happen in your business. So you won the day that way. Uh, did you invite anyone to a challenge group? Did you sell a challenge pack? Did you sign up a new coach? Did you get a message of appreciation or thanks from someone who has been impacted in a positive way by what you do as a coach? Or did you send appreciation to someone else who impacted you? So there's little things that, um, that are positive about your business uh, that you need to recognize. So don't get to the end of the day having done your power hour and uh, sent out 25 conversations and talk to 25 people and just think, well, that was a waste because it wasn't. I feel like in this business, you're going to be doing stuff every single day and it might seem monotonous. And sometimes it does to me, but at the same time, I'm trying to stay consistent because that's when the compound effect takes effect and starts to play in is when you're being consistent, planting those seeds because those people down the line are going to be following you and then eventually, you know, whether they want to get a challenge pack or start coaching or whatever, but you don't ever know unless you keep going. So just recognize the positives. And that my friends is all that I have. So we'll open it up to questions and it doesn't have to be related to today's topic. <sighs> okay. Let's see here. Okay, Stephanie, watermarks. I just go to Canva, and all I do is click text, bring the text over onto the image, and if you go to the right, like you click on the text and it brings up those tools. If you click on the arrow, it will drop down and there's transparency, and I just take the transparency down some notch or whatever just to make it kind of fade. I hope that makes sense. That's what I use. Canva, yes, Brooke. Uh, for so many people, I mean, okay, yes, Crystal uh, commented here. If you didn't see it, you can read it. Or for so many people, okay, yes. So challenge groups. Bringing your clients into challenge groups, yes, for some of them, it's out of their comfort zone. So when they see you being vulnerable and posting, it's easier for them to do it. And I like what she said about um, having them, prepping them to coach. So having your challengers do coaching behaviors. So having them post about their workouts, even on their own walls and stuff, and post about their own transformations. But when you're sharing transformations of your clients, make sure you're asking for permission. Uh, I know that sometimes if they're hesitant, I'll say, I'll crop your head off. <laughs> I'll just use your body. Um, and then I don't tag them if they don't want to be tagged. You know, some, for some people, it's not comfortable for them. But so, um, and I like Crystal just said also, when you are choosing a different program that you're typically not into or it's out of your comfort zone. Again, it helps your followers and your clients see that, hey, she's doing it, then I can do it too. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. It doesn't can I add something? Yeah, go for it. Um, one of my coaches just this last week uh, messaged me and just was like, I don't know what to do. I'm at a standstill with my weight. I'm 
there's no way I can lose another inch or another pound. And um, she's at her target weight. And um, if you are someone in those same shoes that might not necessarily have a transformation more, like one of the best things you can do is to post again, like a pretty said, add value, like do a circuit and like show people that this is something they can do or show people, um, you know, just make a, a video and create a circuit that they can do. And you could post that to YouTube. And, you know, so now you're in two places when people are looking at free workouts that you have now a circuit done. And so I'm not at my to go away. So that's like still like in the, you know, in the background, but some of you guys are, you guys are at your peak, your goal. You are exactly where you need to be and would love to be the rest of your life. And so if you have those kind of things, like at, still add value, you know, go live about meal prepping tips, go live with a circuit or recording. So anytime you go live, you can always is put on your YouTube channel. And so um, it's a great way to add value if you are, and even if you're not at a, your target weight, you can still, I mean, post a circuit that you've, you've done yourself and post it because people don't always want to see, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't want to see someone who's tiny and little because that's not me. And it just makes me want to like throw the TV. But so to see a, someone who is, you know, even overweight doing those knowing if they can do it I can do it so just adding that value along with that transformation so yeah that's I like that and then uh, Tori here also says that uh, she posts about when she's doing her workout that her two-year-olds they're doing it with her and mimicking her so sharing about I know that my uh, Stephanie does this too and talking about how our kids are there working out with her. So be real. And I, I know that <laughs> I used to do my workouts later and the boys would be doing the same thing, following me and whatnot. But you know, I've switched and gotten up earlier and getting it, getting it done just cause that's for me. I just want to just get it done. So whatever your circumstance, just share about it. Okay. Well, can I say one thing? Yes. Okay. Um, I like seeing some of those like skinnier coaches. <laughs> so I feel like it gives me hope because I know that there's one that I follow that she's like super tiny, but then she was talking about now she does these workouts and she's gaining muscle. And so I'm like, that is inspiring for me. That's inspiring. Cause I'm like, I hope I can get to that point. You know, I've got maybe like eight more pounds to lose. And then I hope I can get to the point where, you know, she's like, I'm up two pounds and that's exciting because I'm gaining muscle. And anyway, so I so hope I get to that point. <laughs> no, I, I didn't even think about that for someone like that to say I'm gaining weight. Yeah. So, or, you know, muscle, you know, getting the definition. It's not always about losing weight, but maybe you're yeah. seeing definition in your abs that you've never had before or in your arms or whatever. Right something else you could post about but it is and I don't know if Nicole oh Nicole's on this she's got a great transformation of definition so anyways that is I'm glad you pointed that out that's some, that's my goal too eh, abs those are like the hardest section right <laughs> it's worst well and just to add I love that and that's exactly just to lead on to, like to what we've been talking about and how coaches are gonna follow you for a reason like I mean, my coaches know I'm scared to coach a girl who is tiny because I don't know that story. That's not my story, but yet that is other people's stories. And there's coaches that are going to be a better coach and a probably a better fit for those people because that's not who I am. And so realize that as you are real and you're posting who you are, you don't have to be a size two, four, six, eight, ten, fifteen, twenty. 15, 20. You know, people are going to be motivated by you and follow you and your story of who you are. So just realize that, like, you know, if you're, if you, like she said, you know, Stephanie said, like, if you have that go away and that's inspiring for you, there's people who are going to find that totally inspiring. You know, one of the, my favorite girls to follow, her name's Lori, and she is a plus size lady and I follow her so much. She inspires me. She has, I mean, she has no idea how much this girl inspires. She's an Emerald coach. Like, but she inspires me every day. I see her post her workout and she's an insanity trainer. Like she coaches live insanity. And to me, I'd be in that front row of that class thinking like, if she can do it, I can do it. And the same thing if, you know, if watching 
Autumn Calabrese is like totally inspiring and motivating because you want that body. That's who you're going to have those people who are following you for that reason. So just know whatever shape and size you are, you're good enough. And you can do this. Okay. I have one more question, actually. Um, so I've been doing, um, insanity max 30 and it's super hard. And so there's part of me that like wants to talk about how hard it is, but I'm, I don't also don't want to discourage people from doing it. Do you like, what's the balance there? Do you just leave that alone? Do you be like totally for real? Cause I, I most days I'm like, I absolutely don't even want to like turn it on. It's so hard, you know, <laughs> like I'm probably hating it more than I'm loving it. It's like a love hate thing but I'm doing it. Anyway, what's like, have you guys ever like posted how hard a certain program is, but gotten good feedback with that? Or I'll tell you my opinion and then I'd love to hear from anyone else. Um, so I did insanity and that has of course longer workouts, I guess more in the second month, but at the same time, I still feel like I would be, I told people it's hard. <laughs> um, I guess just be, don't be a negative about it, but still talk about how it's hard, but you still did it or, Oh, that's a tough one. I still would be real. Just maybe not that real every day. I don't know. Cause if you're just every day, like, Oh, I don't even want to turn it on, but you're telling it every day, you know? And I know you're not like that, but I still say throw it in there. So people know that's for you. That's something that is hard for you. And yeah, it might not be hard for other people, but I don't know. What does what does everybody else have to say? Yeah, I think you're exactly on the right track. Like, let's be honest. Like, the nice thing about Beachbody is they do they spend millions and millions of dollars every year on their products, right? To advertise. No one buys Insanity knowing it's easy. No one. People buy Insanity because they want results fast. And they know that it's insanity. I mean, just the commercials will tell you. If you watch the, the insanity, the, the regular insanity, you know, just watching that commercial, you can see, and he like, tells you this isn't for everyone. This is for the insane. Like, this is someone who wants it bad. And so I think it's totally okay to explain that. It's a love-hate relationship. I There's some days that it's super hard, but you know – you know, you look at that motivation picture hanging on your fridge or that, you know, high school reunion date that's hanging on your pantry door to remind you not to binge eat, that those extra squats are worth it. And so, because that's who's going to pick that program, you know, those are the ones who are, are wanting a challenge. Like, I mean, Brittany, this is, it might be, insanity might be easy for someone. I mean, I would love to meet that person that insanity is hard for. I mean, you see Shanti working up a sweat, like... <laughs> You know, so I think it's perfectly fine as like Brittany says, as long as not every day, like I hate this, I don't want to hit play. You know, you talk about like, I hate it, but I hate it. So I'm going to hit play, you know, and just put that positive twist on it. Cause I think that's normal. I mean, we all have days that we say, I don't even want to move on, you know, and we all, you know, I've been in a rut and that's why I love this 5k group. I mean, it's just so different. And it's okay to say that this is hard and it's supposed to be hard. You know, living a healthy life isn't easy. It's not, I mean, going through a drive through is way easier to make dinner than meal prepping and you know what I mean? So there, everything's hard, but everything in life's hard. What's, I guess like what's in, what's not, if it's not hard, it's not worth it. You know, like that saying like nothing in life is worth fighting for if it's not, not hard. So I think it's okay. In my, in my opinion, that's a long answer. Sorry. Yeah. I, I was going to say too, I think it's, I think it's good to tell people that it's hard, but you're like, that was dang hard, but I did it and I accomplished it. And you know, you're showing that like, that was awesome. And because of that, I'm stronger. Like when I first started, I can only do, I couldn't do any push ups, and now I'm up to 10 or whatever. So just showing like those little things. Um, sorry, I don't know if I'm back on. I've been carrying my computer around and walking and doing stuff. So um, 
this is something I've been really interested to hear everyone's comments because I think that that's actually something that I talk about quite a bit and I'm not saying that it's right or wrong but um, I personally like I want something that's gonna kick my butt I exercise for that purpose but for me and I think a lot of the people that um, not everybody but I think I have a lot of followers who are into fitness and I get a lot of people say to me like oh, I just can't work out from home like I won't push myself or um, it's really not I don't know I just you know I get a lot of that of I just don't work hard enough at home or these workouts really that hard you know and so for me personally I like to share that these workouts that I'm doing are hard that I get a dang good workout that I am dripping in sweat after 22 minutes so Again, not necessarily the right thing. I think it's different for everybody. But I think it's good to show, like, without a physical person standing here pushing me to do this, I just worked dang hard. So that's my thought. But And that's just kind of where I'm at. One more thing. I'm sorry, and then I'll be done, I promise. Um, you know, and exactly what she said, like, are this this relation is about building relationships, right? So, like, if you have someone, just because it's Annie Max on sales, I mean, that's what you're going to recommend to someone. So, you get to know someone, they just had knee replacement surgery. You're not going to say, yeah, Insanity Max, like, do it, you know? And so, you know, Chantel's going to have a way different followers than I have. And that's, that's exactly it. Like, build that relationship, get to know them. And, you know, I think all of us probably sell a little bit different programs. Like, I... Most of you have not ever sold probably a Turbo Jam in your life because you're not even familiar with one of the original. I have sold probably 10 of those because that's what I started with. And so, you know, just realize, like, you know, your followers and, you know, you know your followers. They're, they're you. So take, take what you would want to hear and share that. Okay, team. I'm just going to say thanks for being on the call. Um, Stephanie loves Turbo Jam. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So that is all, my friends. Go out, finish a program, and, well, I should say complete a, complete a whole program. And then make sure you just kind of mental check being positive and making sure you're doing your – Four vital behaviors every day. All right. Thanks for being on the call.